Richard Haney, who just returned to England from South Africa, is about to meet a man that will change his life forever. Oh, my name is Scudder, and I've been living above your uh, flat now for a while, and I'm being chased by a secret organization called the Black Stone, and I'm in possession of some secret information in my black book here. And then, it, it, I, it just can't get into the hands of any government whatsoever, because it's extremely secret, and it has to do with um, the assassination of the Greek premier. And I just need some place to hide out for a while. Uh, I don't know. This seems kind of um, risky for well, me. I'm the only one in danger right now, so it would not affect you greatly. But I just need some place to hide out. Can I please stay in your apartment? I, I don't. I guess I don't see why not. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Haney returns home and is horrified by what he sees. Dead. I can't believe Scudder's dead. What? Oh God, it's Scudder's notebook. After finding Scudder's secret notebook, Haney impersonates a milkman in order to hide from the authorities, and he makes his escape through London. After Scudder died. I knew that in order to escape from the Black Stone and the police, I had to get to Scotland. Fast. After getting off the train, Haney makes his way to a secluded inn and is soon traced by the authorities. Haney makes his escape from the inn and grabs a car for his absconsion. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, hey, can I get a ride with you and then also stay at your home? Are you a serial killer? Only if you want me to be. Get in the car. All right. After leaving the kind stranger's home, Haney takes to the road again, this time by foot. He notices he is being followed, so he decides to go undercover. Roadman, excuse me. I need to, do, I need to borrow your uh, uniform. I'm running away from the police officer. Well, all right, no questions? Okay, fine, thanks. Just go home, and uh, this is extremely sweaty. You've been doing some hard work. Uh, just go home, and I will cover for you while you are doing whatever you are going to do. So, go on, get out of here, and I'll cover your shift. Go. Haney then returned his disguise to the scruffy, wildly attractive road worker, and he continued on his journey. He then came across another kind soul who gave him shelter from the outdoors. Unfortunately, the stranger turned out to be not so kind. He was the leader of the Black Stone and imprisoned Haney in a closely guarded dark cellar, but Haney proves to be a lot smarter than he looked to the evildoers, and so he scavenges a few tools to create his escape. Seems like these days the 
Haney then deciphers Scudder's notebook, jacks a ride, and hops a train to England. Get out of the car right now. Are you the murderer of Richard Haney? Yeah, there's gonna be one more if you don't get out right now. Get out, get out. I'm not through with you. One more thing. What? After cracking the cipher in Scudder's notebook, I caught a train to England, desperate to get to the foreign office to alert my contact of the imminent danger. Haney decides to reach out to a diplomat in England to inform him of the information he had been informed of. Haney, my boy! My nephew told me you were coming. Let's get to work. Right? Haney is allowed to stay with the diplomat. Then, during an important political meeting, after a high-ranking admiral leaves the discussion, Haney rushes in with some startling news. You have to listen to me. The admiral, he's not who he says he is. He was, I was talking to him at home. He has been sick all day. The man who is here is actually the head of the Black Stone. God. Everything. Everything is ruined. Forever. Will Haney be able to thwart the Black Stone? To keep the secrets of the Allies? Read the 39 steps to find out. Get out of the car. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Roadman. I need... I, I was waiting. I was still waiting for your line. Roadman. I need to borrow your uh, outfit and I'll cover you. Just go home. Uh, just sleep and I will cover you. I just need to find. My name is Scudder, and I've been living up in your, uh, above your flat for a while, for a couple of years now, and... God, you s- <laughs> Guys, you have to listen to me. The ambassador is not who he says he is. I just talked to him. He's at home. He's been sick all day. The ambassador is actually the head of the Black Hand. God damn it! Listen to me. The Admiral, he's not who he says he is. The, ad the Admiral is at home. I talked to him. He's been sick all day. The one that was here, that is actually the head of the Black Hand. Yeah! <laughs> True mofo. <laughs> After cracking the cipher in Scudder's notebook, I had to catch a train to England. Damn it! <laughs> After crack. After cracking the cipher in Scudder. Fuck it! Straight out of Jeff's loins. <laughs>